Hello everyone, Payne here, an 8KMMR coach. Today I'll be analyzing how Butterfly manages to get around 200 last sets at 15 minutes and around 280 at 20 minutes, which is only possible with excellent farming patterns. A lot of players have trouble hitting the 200 last sets at 20 minute mark, and with this video, they should be able to do that. Without wasting any time, let's get into it. Butterfly currently has 36 last sets and he's sitting at 3100 net worth at 6 minutes 44 seconds. He just respawned before that he was killed by the puck who is not seen on the map at the moment but the thing that i want to mention first is that this farming pattern is only replicable if you're playing farming heroes like medusa luna templar assassin you get the gist of it like swen heroes that have innate farming capability you cannot do this with anti-mage faceless void dark something like that so right now it's like butterflies level five and usually when you have level 5 or 6 on these heroes, you have the capability to farm multiple camps at the same time. You farm faster, basically. So what you're going to see him do here is that he's going to start pushing in the lane. And he's looking to get his level 6 so that he can start farming jungle. So there's like one thing really important about this. Where he's farming right now is a very dangerous spot. Like if you think about it, he's near the enemy tier 1. And... It could mean that he could very easily die with one TP and spear setup, right? But the thing about this is that you have to understand that two things matter when it comes to safety. One is the levels of the enemy off lane plus position four, and the other is the enemy mid laner. So the thing that you want to keep in mind is that after minute six, the enemy mid laner is the one who's going to rotate and try to kill you. And you need to determine whether they are rotating hero. So in this case, it's a puck. So puck is a rotating hero. Storm is a rotating hero, SF is not a rotating hero, TA is not a rotating hero, so you don't have to worry about it when there are heroes that are not mobile, like SF is not mobile, TA is not mobile, OD is not mobile, but Puck is, Ember is, Storm is, so in this case, he has to actually think about the fact that this Puck could rotate top and kill me. But he has information, right? So Puck killed the courier here, and it seems like the battle rider is just like chasing the Puck, so he knows this information that Puck is there. He can't possibly TP here and coil me, so he feels safe enough to do this. And the other factor is that Mars is not level 6, so he cannot set up that well. So he feels comfortable enough to push in this wave, which is what he's doing here. Like you see him farming very easily. And right after he farms this, look at the timer. So the timer is 7-11. This is like very important as well. Like you should know creep wave timers, which basically means that you should be able to predict where the enemy wave is without looking at it. So in this lane, you don't see where the enemy wave is. But if you know creepy of timers, you should be able to know where is that. So uh, a practice that you could do is that you can just go in a replay and then look at the timers. It's like, okay, so every 30 seconds, the creep wave is going to spawn. So the creep wave spawns 11 seconds ago. So usually it takes around 10 seconds for the creep wave to be on the tier one. Not the tier one, sorry, the tier two. And then for the tier one, it's like around 20 seconds. So you can just like keep that in mind. So basically the creep wave is here right now. So he technically cannot go and farm it here or near the tower that would be a dangerous spot so he's just like he's not gonna wait here and waste his time so we need to farm as much as we can in a minute which is very important like we have a minute we have to farm as much as we can so what you're gonna see him do here is go towards the side camps because standing here is just like very useless for him he can't do anything so he's just like gonna farm here he has a mask so he can very easily clear the stack and he's just doing that the key thing is that we need to be able to farm waves and side camps consistently and safely so in this case when the puck was top, the way she got back to the mid lane is by using her TP. So that means that she does not have a TP. Which means for the next 70 seconds, he can play a bit aggressively towards the enemy tower as long as he sees the puck is mid. If the puck is missing, he has to be careful. Because the puck could just be walking top, if, even if he can't TP. So what ha what's happening here is that he's just chilling, farming the side camps. And he's going to wait for the wave to be here. So the wave is back here. He's going to farm this very quickly. And then he's going to go for the wave again. So similar to previous patterns, he sees the puck mid. He knows that the puck cannot TP top and he knows that this guy doesn't have a Mars Arena or like Spear or anything so he can't harass him. So what he does is that he chills around here, he farms this wave which is what he's gonna do very quickly and then back to... So in this case the creep wave is there, right? So he doesn't really need to go back and he also knows that this puck doesn't have a TP, he's probably counting it as well because obviously he's a rank 2 player, 13 KMMR, he should keep that in mind. So he's gonna farm the next wave, Pudge rotates, it's a bit dangerous so that he, he's gonna chill now. But he's just like very aggressive still because he understands that Puck cannot come top. Mars doesn't have arena. So it's very hard for them to actually kill the Suna. So he's like very fine doing whatever he's doing here. He's going to farm this back to the side camp again because if you look at the timer, the enemy wave is somewhere here. Right? We can just go free camera to make this easy. So here is their wave. So he knows the wave is like really far. He gets hooked. He misses a spear. And they end up not... Like if this guy has arena, 
this Luna cannot play this lane this aggressively, but since he's level 5, he doesn't have it. So he can't do anything about it. So Luna's sitting at 56 lasses right now. And Pudge is like casually pausing because he missed the spear, but that doesn't matter. Okay, now he's just gonna go back. So he's like low now, he has to play safe because he can't stay here. And by this time, the Puck's TP is probably off cooldown, just in, in 4 seconds, so he has to be careful again. So he's just chilling, farming here. Uh, we can go back to player view. And now it's just like, okay, Mars is level 6 and he knows that, so now he has to be careful. So what you're gonna see is that he's probably never going to approach this wave anymore, unless the Mars goes to another lane, the Puck goes to another lane, or... Mars dies or something like that happens. So he's just gonna chill and farm. So he's just like hitting this camp. And after that, it's just like, where is the wave? So wave, the wave is like nearby. And he can actually go here because he has two teammates. And then Puck is being pressured at mid. So she can't TP in front. So he's just gonna go here and try to like maybe farm. And he sees that, okay, my bad trader died. Mars is still not visible. This is a bug, right? They can't see this. So I'm just gonna fix the bug real quick. But yeah, so now he's just like farming backwards. He understands that if he's somewhere here and Mars Arena plus spears him, the Puck can TP in and he would just die. And he also needs to understand wherever the Puck is. So if Puck is missing from the map, he cannot play here. He cannot play aggressively in the lane. He cannot play it on this camp. He cannot play on this camp because this is where he can die. The place where he can't die is behind the tower where they can't kill him. So he's very safe here. This is like a safe zone for him. This is a danger zone when the enemy has levels and when the enemy mid laner is missing. So which is why he's farming here. He might not even go back to the lane at all unless he feels safe enough. So in this case, it's just like he doesn't know where the Mars is. He doesn't know where the Pudge is. He knows where Io and Murta are, but he does not know the rest of the two years. He sees Puck, but Puck doesn't matter because Mars can solo him almost with the Arena plus Spear combo. So he's just like farming even further behind. Since these camps are already farmed, and he doesn't want to be anywhere near this lane as long as Mars and Pudge are missing. Which they've shown now, but this is like very far. Even if he just like starts walking right now, he won't be there in time. So he's just going to chill there and farm this. But then eventually it's just like, if you look at the timer, it's 90.26. So it's been almost 27 seconds since the wave spawned. And just as a tip, you know this curve? You see this creep wave? This curve is 27 seconds basically. Creep waves are going to meet at 27 seconds on the side lane. So there's like another wave right here which he wants to farm. Because since he saw Mars already, he saw Pudge already, he sees Puck as well, he feels safe enough to go and farm this wave. So he farms this wave, he's gonna push it, but he's not gonna go deeper. Why? Because again, Pudge, Puck, and Mars are missing. Again, so he's gonna he's not gonna try to farm these this side of the map. He's gonna farm this very quickly, like safe camp, and then he's gonna go back again. He's not approaching the lane at all because he does not feel comfortable, but even by doing this, he still has like a 90 CS at 10 minutes, and then there's also, he also has like 5k network, which is like pretty insane. So again, he sees Puck, and this is not where they can exactly dive and kill him. So as long as he sees the Puck, he can push this wave in. And then the next wave is also coming, and he sees Mars, he sees Puck. Let's guess what he's gonna do. Is he gonna farm the next wave? He probably is, right? Because he sees Pudge, Puck, plus Mars. So he can do whatever he wants. Creep wave timer is 42, creep wave is here. These camps are farmed, these camps are farmed. He's gonna go in the inner jungle and farm this. But Batrider is farming it, but he's going to leave it for him. And then again, it's just like, okay, the wave is like super deep, so I don't want to go there. Then he just goes back and just like keeps farming again. At this point, he sees a lot of them mid. And he can see that the Puck does not have any mana, which means she's going to go to base. But as soon as he sees the Mars like this, he's probably not going to approach the wave again. Because he knows Mars is arena, right? You see, like he doesn't approach it at all. Because he doesn't see Puck again. This is like the whole thing. Safety is the biggest factor behind farming. Luna, all these farming carries, they can just farm jungle really well. The key thing to understand here is that we don't want to feed while we are farming because we're going to lose a lot of gold whenever we do that. So this is what we need to just like think about. So here it's just like he's going to farm this wave under tower. This could be very dangerous. So you see him posturing backwards. He doesn't three three heroes, which is Mars, Puck, and Pudge again. And then if they set up on him, these guys can just reload in. So he's very careful here. He's just like chilling. And then when his teammates are nearby and when he sees Puck, he's back to farming top. He can farm the wave very easily. And then he can farm this as well because he sees everyone and his teammates ne are nearby. So what you're going to see here is that he doesn't go back to farm th these camps. Why? Because if you look at the timer, 16 seconds, the wave is probably somewhere around this spot. But the thing is, now he can farm really fast. So rather than farming a medium plus small camp, he goes for the medium plus plus the large camp, which is more gold. Lesson here is basically, when you have a better farming capability, in earlier levels, you can't really farm these really well in time. 
right? The idea is to go back to the lane and farm the wave, but he doesn't know whether that is safe or not because everyone's missing, and also that he has a decent bit of time before he needs to go back, which is like around 10 to 15 seconds. So what he's going to do is that he's going to farm camps, which is going to give him more gold. Which in this case is just like large and medium over the medium and the, and the small. And then it's like, okay, they're all missing again. I only see Puck. He doesn't go here. And he doesn't go to the lane. He goes here and he farms a large plus medium camp again. He still has 10 seconds left. So he can look for another camp. But probably won't be able to get in time for it. But maybe he can. Let's see. So he's going for the lane. But then he's like, okay. I only see Puck, so this could be actually dangerous. He doesn't see anyone else. He doesn't see Mars. He doesn't see any of the other heroes. So he feels uncomfortable enough to farm this. So he goes back and then farms this. So basically, he didn't get to farm this camp in a minute that he had. So we need to like think about the game in terms of a minute. So now he sees Mars again. And he still doesn't see the rest of the heroes. So he doesn't feel comfortable. So he goes back and farms the inner jungle again. And then he's moving literally backwards. So this is the thing, right? Usually you want to farm towards the triangle when the enemy safe lane tower is dead, which in this case is dead. So he's looking to farm this side of the map now because that is much safer. And he gets to pressure the enemy lanes and he also gets to farm more there. Like if you play top, you're kind of putting yourself in a dangerous position. And also you don't get to farm waves that easily as easily you would get in the bottom side of the map. So what you're seeing him doing is that he wishes to go towards this side of the map and he far he's farming his way to, to that area. Chilling, farming this camp, and now he's going to. He still has 15 seconds, right? We need to think in terms of a minute because every minute the map refreshes. He goes here, he's hitting it, he's gonna stack it, stack both the camps, and now he's gonna farm it. Okay. Once he's done farming it, he sees the bottom side. Enigma is farming here, which means he doesn't have access to these camps. This is also farmed by the NP. And this wave is like super far in. He doesn't have Manta, so he can't really do anything about it. So he's probably going to start going towards top again. So he goes top again. Now he's farming towards the top area. So if you see his last hit, right? It's almost 15 minutes and he's almost around the 200 CS mark. So if this Timber didn't farm this camp and this camp, he would be at 200 by 15 minutes. He's sending Illusions mid. So in terms of like sending Illusions mid, it's just like basically use your Illusions to farm places that you cannot reach. So in this case, he wants to stay here and not put himself in a dangerous position and also wants to de-push this lane. So he sends this illusion to push this while he's just here chilling and trying to join this fight or at least do something about it. But now he's just like farming nearby. So he has like 190 CS at 15 minutes, which is really good, I would say. Now he's just like fighting and yeah. So fast forward, let's just like go fast forward. He's back to just farming. Like this whole idea is that you can follow the same farming patterns if you're really thinking about what is safe for me. Because a lot of people, they just keep wasting time. It's just like they don't really look at the map. They either just die in bad spots or just like thinking about, oh yeah, we can't really go here. But we'll just like take a gamble. We'll just like wait here rather than just being here, you know. Like the difference between you and him is that if he sees that they're missing, he won't stand there and hide here. He will be here somewhere farming. A lot of players just like stand there and just like wait for them to show so that they can hit this hit, hit this wave, right? So, but you don't want to do that. You just want to like farm whatever safe because you are a really fast farmer as a Luna. And fast forwards to 20 minutes, right? Fast forward 20 minutes with the Manta. He has 289 CS, which is like a minute behind. He's almost 280 at 20 minutes. To summarize all of this, which can also be used as a rule book, if the enemy mid hero is mobile and can rotate, after minute 6, start tracking their movement on the map. If he's missing, you should play safer, which is in the camps behind your tier 1 tower. If the enemy offlaner is stronger than you, taking this game as an example, Mars level 6 power spike. You should only farm the wave if it's near your tower and if you have the information on the enemy mid laner. The wave is further in. Try to bring it back by pulling your own small camp or simply farm behind your tier 1 till the wave comes back. If you see the enemy mid laner and you know that the enemy offlaner does not pose a threat, then feel free to farm aggressively in the lane. But do keep in mind that the enemy mid laner can always TP. Tracking that can also be beneficial for you. After minute 10, that's where the enemy supports are also level 6. At that point, if the enemy supports, mid laner or off laner are missing from the map, you should farm near your tier 2 tower because, at that point, they can just dive you and kill you behind your tier 1 tower. 
If you're still struggling with farming patterns, I would recommend getting coached. It doesn't have to be me, it could be any high MMR reputable coach, but if you want to get coached by me, click on the Discord link in the description. I hope this was helpful, this was off script so the quality of the video might be lower than my other videos. Do let me know if you want similar off script videos in the comment section.